Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm very happy about the development of the cheapest. Actually, this is the cheapest fish tank that I ever have made. In fact, I only spent around 2,000 pesos for the wood and for the bamboo. I'm so happy to make an update about this just to encourage our followers and viewers that they could still, as what I have said in my previous video, continue on with the passion of breeding this tropical fish even without spending a lot of money. And I feel elated by the accomplishments of our staff here. Noel had been so busy today doing all the stuffs and our cameraman Nelboy has been documenting every details of it and you will see now that it looks good. It's already very sturdy and uh, one of you said that his concern is the capacity of this tank to carry the volume of the water. Well, I only intended to have the depth of at least one foot right here and we will use this one at the sidings we will still use the bamboo and we will place the tarp and then the bottom drain pipes will run over here our filter bucket will be placed at the end portion of this tank and this tank alone can contain 5,000 fish well if we're gonna harvest our our fish right at the mad pond my intention is to utilize this one as our holding area before we're gonna sell them to the market. And you know that I mentioned about the importance of this conditioning area where it is exposed to sunlight because they will easily recover from the stress. And another thing that I can tell you right now is the harvest of our baby goldfish to be thrown in the mud pan. So come on, let's go and have an update over there. I'm so happy with what is happening here. And you will note that I mentioned to you about the 5,000 heads of this baby orandas and even these calicos. I'm so glad, I'm so happy that we were able to transfer at least 5,000 selected quality of this baby goldfish. And this is amazing because I just discovered that in breeding of this kind of fish, we have to provide a long breeding or spawning tank. And you will see right here that our spawning tank is already empty because we already have packed some five to 6,000 heads of this baby goldfish, of course, the good quality. And we already have, uh, you know, practiced the street culling where this goldfish that has single tail and different body conformation will be excluded from the selection. And as you can see here, our staff had been so busy. Early in the morning, we started this one because this is a tedious task to be able to get the best out of the best fish from the tank. Of course, we place them in the plastic bag and then we put the oxygen and then transport them to the mud pan.
I'm so much excited to breed again our jumbo lion goldfish. You will see that they are already very pregnant. The process of conditioning is good if it is done inside in this glass tank, in this aquarium. And of course, you will just provide this UV light. We have this uh, trickle down filter. And then we have another uh, submersible pump here just to rotate the water. And then we have the special air pump right here. So it is backed up with so much gadgets for the oxygen level because we would like to maintain the top oxygen level for our fish. And of course, we have the backup generator. I would like to let you see our backup generator because we, we normally experience this power interruption. And I'm so much afraid because I already have experienced this one that after feeding all the fish, they are so you know, full with food. And then suddenly there was a power interruption and it ended up killing all my fish. So I already have learned my lesson. And actually this is just a small uh, generator. You will see here that this generator is on a standby mode because uh, we can function many air pumps, submersible pumps, and even the lights for our aquarium. And this is good enough already to be able to secure our fish during power interruption. We have a double throw here. So I would like to let you see that in the event of power interruption, we will just pull it down and then function the generator and then the power interruption will be addressed. So actually, uh, these are the things that we are going to prevent in order for us to be able to just feel secure about our fish. And you will see here that we have grown the first batch of our orandas and you will see the photos that are utilized for the filter media and the water is good though it's dark but it's good. I'm so much delighted with the kind of discovery. This is a discovery because this is my first time to use the plants, these photos, as my filter uh, media. You will see that I have here two buckets and this is actually filled with some stones and you know charcoal. But at the top of this, these two buckets are the roots of these photos plants. You will see here, photos are already thriving and they are developing roots down under and the root system is already very stable that it made us uh, have this very clear water. I can say that this is very clear water because this is exposed to sunlight during noontime yet the koi fish are still very visible and these koi fish are all breeders and come on let's do let's do the feeding of the koi, the selected ones outside of the house. But before that, I would like to feed our goldfish right here. Wow, this is my joy every afternoon. I'm doing this because I am really getting inspiration when seeing my goldfish eating. And one of the things that you will note, if your goldfish will go near to you for food, then that's an indication that your goldfish is healthy. If you are feeding your goldfish and he is scared, he will he will not come to you for the food. Maybe there are two things. Maybe she's full or he is full or she's not or he's not feeling well. So if one indication that your goldfish is well is when he will come to you and ask for food. So they are coming to me asking for food and the conclusion is they are well. Come on, you eat. That's your breakfast. I know that's a dinner already. <laughs> And we have here the pearl scale and the soonest possible time I, I would like to you know make this very successful farm of goldfish and other types of tropical fish where people can just come here and buy my fish and these are the things that I dream about in the future so come on let's go to the front of this house I have a special Japanese koi very costly Japanese koi and this is my selection actually come on let's go over here
this is the selected ones of course you will see that this koi has good colors uh, we have the showa we have the sanke we have the uchuli type of koi and we have even this uh, the red white uh, koi and uh, they are uh, very healthy now and actually they're full because just a few hours ago I already made some feeding right here but they're full now and I believe that they will still eat and they will appear and eat all these foods So what you saw in the mud pond is a success. I would like to say that it's a success because I dream of having a separate mud pond for the goldfish. And it's happening now. And I'm so glad because we can project that in the future, we can harvest some 5,000 heads of this uh, quality goldfish. And maybe the, my dream about having a grow out challenge to our followers and viewers, who will buy our product, who will buy our produce, and uh, we will have a grow out competition. That's gonna be fun. And I would like to make that happen in the future, a few months from now. So I hope guys that you are entertained with our passion and you will still continue to like and share our videos. Shout out to our new subscribers, our followers. I'm so happy about this because you really are now part of the family the new subscribers thanks a lot for the new members thank you so much and i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world